Alright, welcome back everyone to another Tech Zone video. This is a sequel to creating a pro intro in Serenity Breakers Pro and this is what we're going to be making today. Looks pretty cool. So, uh, let's begin since there's a lot of steps to do. So, first of all, open up Sony Vegas Pro and let's add a video track. Then we're going to insert some text media, which is going to be our title. So, let's change it to intro. I want to make it italic, so let's enable the italic option. You can disable or enable the bold option if you want and change the font. Now I want to give it sort of like a blue effect. So let's enable the outline and let's change it to sort of like light blue. You can put whatever the color you want. And if I were to increase the feather to 0 0.5 and change the width to 0 0.5 If you look at the video preview, now it looks like there's some glowing effect. So that's what I did. Now let's add the lightning streak. So let's go to media generators and add the lightning effect below the text media. Now here's the thing, I want the lightning streaks to come from left to right, not top to bottom. So how do you do that? First of all, go to track motion of the lightning streak. Disable the lock aspect ratio option. And on the orientation, change the angle to minus 90. Now it should be rotated and should come from left to right, but it doesn't fit the video yet. If you disable lock aspect ratio, then you can stretch the V up the uh, video to whatever the part you want. You can stretch it as much as you want. So stretch it until it fits the video and then you can edit it the way you want. So right click on the lightning streak and go to edit generated media and change the color to around blue let's say. And now I, at the moment the lightning streaks does not animate yet. So to do that at the timeline over here move the keyframe towards the end I mean the slider and add a keyframe there. And on that keyframe itself, change the progress to about 8 or 9. I'll put it to 8.3. And now, if you were to play the video, this is how it should be. It should animate. But I saw two lightning streaks, so I want to add two lightning streaks. So, how do you do that? Duplicate the track. Go to track motion of the duplicated track. And from minus 90 of the angle value, change it to 90. Well, where's the other lightning streak? The compositing mode of the uh, duplicated track should be add. And there you go. Both of the lightning streaks are there. So now if you play it, you can see there are two lightning streaks, and they both animate. Now let's animate the text. So I want to give like this vibrating effect, like on a TV. So go to video effects scroll down to TV simulator add the bad sync effect to the text and now if we were to play it there are some things we have to change the text moves towards the top and disappears and comes from the bottom I don't want that um, let's change the vertical sync to 1 or move the slider towards the right at its full value and now it vibrates too much if you can see so I want to reduce that you can you can barely read it so change the line sync value over there to about 0 0.95 okay there it should vibrate just a bit it won't vibrate too much so that's what we want now I want to add some light streaks popping out of it you know like trap codes shine effect on Adobe After Effects so how do we do that in Sony Vegas first of all you want to duplicate the track right click duplicate track there should be two of them they go to video effects uh, go to light rays <coughs> and add the moderate light rays effect to the second text uh, media now why do we do that instead of the first one if we were to add it on the first one and if we were to change the color the color of the text should also be changed now I don't want that I only want the color of the light rays to be changed so that's what we're gonna do now sometimes this could happen whenever you add the light rays effect to the second text media it may also be added to the first one so just in case if that happens go to event effects of the first one 
select the light rays effector from here and click this button remove select the plugin remove it and then go back to editing the same effect on the second one now I want to animate it but if you can see the light rays are still too sh too small so I want to increase the strength to increase the size like so and let's increase the sensitivity okay now at the beginning of the timeline select the keyframe we're gonna move the light source towards the left side so that the light rays are from the right move the slider of the timeline towards the end add a keyframe and then move the light source object towards the right so you can see what's happening on the video preview that's what it's gonna do on the video so now if you were to play it let's play the video you can see the light rays slowly moving from left to right so that that looks pretty cool okay so next up what should we do next oh yes the bump map let's add a bump map to the lightning streaks so this is what we do we go to video effects again scroll up to bump map add upper right glow to both of the lightning streaks and you know what let's just leave it like that okay you don't have to change anything this will give like some bumpy bumpiness to the lightning streaks if you want you don't need to add it but I'm just gonna add it for myself and finally let's add the transitions this is what I did in the video I went to uh, if I can find it go to transitions spiral and add the spiral in left clockwise transition to the beginning of both the text medias so drag it and add it to the beginning right there okay now if you were to play the video it should come in like that I'm sure you didn't see it properly and now for it to fade out I want it to fade out through a white color so to do that under transitions go to dissolve scroll down to fade through white and we're gonna add it to the end of both of them Okay, I didn't add it right. Okay, add it. That one, I want it to fade out quickly. So, we're going to click the zoom in time button over here to zoom in. Okay, that's too much. Okay. And you get this direction arrow. Okay, just move it until it becomes like 6 milliseconds or something. 7, okay. So, the speed of the transition should be faster. Okay. So if I were to play the video, I'm sure you won't notice it. Okay, hold on. Let me just move it by our keys. So it goes on, and there you go. It fades out through white. And there, that's the end. Okay, so that should be the end of this tutorial. So hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to render it now, and I'm going to show you the final result. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, watch, subscribe for more. You can do everything else that you want. You can add backgrounds, c more colors to it. You can do whatever you want. The rest on. So that's why I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, watch, subscribe for more. So that's uh, so. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And here's the final result.